Hey guys, this is Ken Donner from KBD Productions TV and I finally got my hands on the HD Hero 2. It's supposed to be twice as good as the Hero and uh, let's open it up. This is an unboxing and we're going to check it out, see what's inside the box. Uh, this is the box, just in case you have never seen one. There's lots of information on the box. It tells you what it has inside. Uh, it tells you all the different uh, like 1080p, 920, and 720. Uh, it also shoots uh, 120 frames a second for super slow mo, but it only shoots that at uh, 848 by 480. So it doesn't shoot 120 frames a second in HD. Uh, and it also has a 170 degree ultra wide angle lens, and it also is a 11 megapixel. 8 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera. So if you just want to take photographs with it when, when you're doing your sporting event or sporting things. So let's open her up. They give you instructions now on how to take it off the uh, black plate. Again, when I bought this, I don't remember uh, having instructions on how to pinch off the, uh, the GoPro. So they give you uh, a black plate that's just mounting that, and that was where the, uh, the top went on, just to show what it looks like. And to get this off, you have to pinch. It's almost like a uh, backpack clip. So you have to pinch the two pieces together and push it off, slide it off without throwing the camera across the room. There you go. Make them to stand by itself. Looks like you have an instruction manual. You can use this piece. Some people have actually used this as a mount. They'll uh, take this off and glue it to something else. And that's pretty much that's left in that box. Let's see what's in the rest of the case. This is a head mount. This is great if you have a hat. Uh, you can attach your camera to the front of that and put this on your uh, helmet. Uh, we, I did some uh, zip lining and my son put it on his helmet and the helmets have those little, uh, I guess, clips for lights or whatever when you're rock climbing or, let's put that over there. It comes with, this is great if you don't want to wreck your helmet with uh, an adhesive sticker. It comes with a bunch of adhesive stickers or mounts. So, let's check it out. Let's see what else is in here first. So, they give you a bunch of stickers to stick on your snowboard or your skis or whatever. You got your helmet thing. You've got your USB connector, which charges your battery when it's plugged into the into your computer. Um, and it's got a new battery and a new back. Uh, it has two backs. There's one that's solid, so this is the one that can go underwater up to 60 meters, I believe, 192 feet. Uh, and this one has a slotted back. It says on the back, uh, or says on the camera somewhere, or at least on this one it said, it said uh, if you're over 100 kilometers an hour, or 100 miles per hour, use the, uh, if you're under 100 miles an hour, use the slotted back. And if you're over 100 miles an hour on a motorcycle or whatever, and it's outside of the car, use the waterproof door so that it stops the wind from making a sound and wrecking your video. Uh, and it comes with two flat mounts. So if you have a flat surface to mount that to, like your snowboard or skis, then it has two curved mounts. So they're curved like this, and those go on helmets. And I have one of, uh, one of these on a, one, uh, my rock climbing helmet, and I still have two, three of the other ones because I only have one rock climbing helmet. Uh, it also comes with two extra pieces to uh, uh, adjust this if you wanted to put it farther away. A lot of people like to put it on their helmet and then face it back towards their face so they can see their expression when they're bungee jumping or whatever. Uh, you got your book, 
So that's pretty much it. Got your helmet thing, your USB, your stickers, your camera, uh, two extra pieces, four mounts, your book, and it comes also with this uh, little dongle thing. This actually goes into, let's see if we can quickly get this for you. Da -da. You gotta be careful too, these things have two sizes of these. So this one, the long ones go in here. If you don't use the long one, then uh, it'll stick out or be inside and underneath the camera and you can't get your fingers underneath it. So use the long ones for when it's really close to the camera. So if you wanted to have this, well, this is what I was showing you, that's right. So this was clipped into here. This was on your helmet. You'd put this in there like that. And that's supposed to help with vibrations and stuff. And then that can go, you can put that through there so it doesn't fall off. I've seen people when they're rock climbing, changing parts on their camera and, and they drop stuff. So that helps you not drop something. You just screw that in and there you go. And if you wanted to unclip it, you just take that out. You don't screw this, take off your thing, move it on to the next piece. And that stays like that. All right, guys. Actually, this would come off, wouldn't it? That would come out. Let's take that out. Just like that. It's being difficult. And then you'd put this back on your camera. And almost dropped it. And uh, that goes back in there. Also, too, you got to be careful when you're putting your the screw back through. You can actually push this out sometimes. Uh, I think they're pretty much glued in there, but they will get loose. And when you go to push it in, that will fall out and it's gone if you're rock climbing, especially. All right, guys, so there you go. That's an unboxing of the new GoPro 2. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, click like, that would be awesome. And I uh, will be doing some uh, tests with this soon. And they'll be in the description below or on this video as I'm speaking. And I'm also gonna be, uh, just doing uh, some sporting events with it. All right guys, talk to you later. Thanks for watching.